Good afternoon. It is now 4.20. I've been home about half an hour, maybe, unpacking the shopping and everything and uh, putting something in the oven. So I hope to record now the Stations of the Cross. I haven't got the name of where I, I, I took it from because it was some time ago that I did this in a church. Um, and uh, I'll begin with one or two prayers and if I do remember where I get it from, got it, but I've got lots of Stations of the Cross, different variety versions, but it's all basically the same. The wording is, is done differently by many, many saints and people. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Angel of God, my guardian dear, to whom God's love commits me here. Ever this day be at my side, to light and guard, to rule and guide. Amen. An act of contrition. O oh my God, I am heartily sorry for having offended you, and I detest all my sins because of your punishments, but most of all, because they offend you, my God, who are all good and deserving of all my love. I firmly resolve, with the help of your grace, to sin no more and to avoid the near occasions of sin. And we pray for all the faithful departed, those in purgatory, our relatives, friends, even people we don't know who have no one to pray for them. Eternal rest grant to them, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon them. May they rest in peace. Amen. We dedicate all these prayers to them. Have mercy and compassion, and soon let them join you in heaven. Come, O Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful with the gift of fear of the Lord, and enkindle in them the fire of your love. Send forth your Spirit, O Lord, and they shall be created, and you will renew the face of the earth. O Holy Spirit, beloved of my soul, come and make your home in my heart. And a prayer for peace, particularly in the whole world, but Ukraine and Russia and America is involved, despite the fact that they're not owning it. O oh God, from whom are holy desires, right counsels and just deeds, give your servants that peace which the world cannot give, that we may serve you with our whole hearts and live quiet lives under your protection, free from the fear of our enemies, through Christ our Lord. Amen. I'm going to get the, something to put the... Um, missile on it's solid and can hold the microphone where you might have a better sound I don't like when you uh, it's not audible um, there are repetitive prayers but you'll follow them as we go along in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit Amen Stations of the Cross, the first station, these are usually done in a church with lots of people, but I'm just going to do them for you and me. My Jesus, you received that sentence of death silently and gladly for love of me. When I am unkindly or unjustly treated, Help me to bear it patiently and silently for love of you, dear Lord. My God, I love you with my whole heart and above all things, and I'm heartily sorry that I have offended you. May I never offend you again. Oh, may I love you without ceasing and make it my delight 
to do in all things your most holy will. Our Lord Jesus Christ humbled himself and became obedient to death, even to the death, death on the cross. The second station of the cross. The cross is laid on the shoulders of Jesus. Dear Jesus, you welcomed and carried the cross on your bleeding shoulders for love of me. O oh, grant that I may also accept my sorrows lovingly for you, O oh Lord. My God, I love you with my whole heart and above all things, and I'm heartily sorry that I have offended you. May I never offend you again. O oh, may I love you without ceasing and make it my delight to do in all things your most holy will. Our Lord Jesus Christ humbled himself and became obedient to death, even to the death, the death on a cross. The third station of the cross. Jesus falls the first time under the cross. My Jesus, you fell under the heavy weight of the cross that you carried to make up for my sins. O oh, grant, dear Lord, There's a mistake. I'm sorry. I should have checked the pages. Oops. I'll just do that bit again. My Jesus, you fell under the heavy weight of the cross that you carried to make up for my sins. O oh, grant, dear Lord, that through the merits of that first fall, I may never <coughs> sorry, fall into sin again. My God, I love you with my whole heart and above all things, and I'm heartily sorry that I have offended you. May I never offend you again. Oh, may I love you without ceasing and make it my delight to do in all things your most holy will. Our Lord Jesus Christ humbled himself and became obedient to death, even to death on the cross. The fourth station. Jesus meets his sorrowful mother. O oh, Jesus, what pain you suffered when you met your mother on the way to Calvary. O oh Mary, what heartbreaking suffering it was for you to see your dear son carrying that heavy cross on his shoulders. Mother of sorrows, obtain for me a great love for Jesus and a great sorrow for my sins which caused his sufferings. O oh, dear Jesus, give me a great love for your own dear mother. My God, I love you with my whole heart and above all things, and am heartily sorry that I have offended you. May I never offend you again. O oh, may I love you without ceasing and make it my delight to do in all things your most holy will. Our Lord Jesus Christ humbled himself and became obedient to death, even to the death, even to the death on the cross. The fifth station. 
Simon of Cyrene helps Jesus to carry his cross. O oh Jesus, I would have loved to help you carry your cross. O oh, help me to bear my own sufferings patiently for the love of you. Make me remember that when I help others, I am helping you. My God, I love you with my whole heart and above all things, and I'm heartily sorry that I have offended you. May I never offend you again. Oh, may I love you without ceasing and make it my delight to do in all things your most holy will. Our Lord Jesus Christ humbled himself and became obedient to death, even to the death, even to the death on the cross. The sixth station, Veronica wipes the face of Jesus. My Jesus, Saint Veronica, wipe the sweat and blood from your suffering face. You were pleased by her kindness and left the imprint of your holy face on her towel. Help me to remember that I can show my love for you by being kind to those around me. Our Lord Jesus Christ humbled himself and became obedient to death, even to the death, even to the death on the cross. My God, I love you with my whole heart above all things and am heartily sorry that I have offended you. May I never offend you again, and may I love you without ceasing, and make it my delight to do it in all things your most holy will. The seventh station of the cross. Jesus falls for the second time. My Jesus, you fell under the weight of your heavy cross but you had to get up and continue your painful journey grant that I may never fall into mortal sin but if I do grant that I may rise up quickly and love you again my God I love you with my whole heart and above all things and I'm heartily sorry that I have offended you. May I never offend you again. Our Lord Jesus Christ humbled himself and became obedient to death, even to the death to the death on the cross. The tenth station. Jesus is stripped of his clothes. My Jesus, the cruel soldiers tore off your clothes and the wounds of your body started bleeding again. Oh, my suffering Jesus, I love you with all my heart. Strip me of all love for everything which offends you. My God, I love you with my whole heart above all things. I am heartily sorry that I have offended you. May I never offend you again. Oh, may I love you without ceasing and make my delight to do in all things your most holy will. Our Lord Jesus Christ humbled himself and became obedient to death, 
even to the death, even to the death on the cross. The eleventh station. Jesus is nailed to the cross. My Jesus, you felt sharp pain when the nails were driven into your hands and feet. It was my sins which caused you this pain. O oh, grant that I may never offend you again by even one deliberate sin. Grant that I may be able to accept my sufferings patiently by remembering your sufferings for me. My God, I love you with my whole heart above all things and am heartily sorry that I have offended you. May I never offend you again. O oh, may I love you without ceasing and make it my delight to do in all things your most holy will. Our Lord Jesus Christ humbled himself and became obedient to death, even to the death, even to the death on the cross. The Twelfth Station Jesus dies on the cross. My Jesus, when your enemies raised up the cross, you hung in pain for three hours and then died for me to redeem me and give me the chance of going to heaven. O oh dear Lord, grant that I may live and die for love of you. Grant that I may be always faithful to your sacraments which you gave to your church and which bring the grace of Calvary to my soul. My God, I love you with my whole heart and above all things and I'm heartily sorry that I have offended you. May I never offend you any more. Oh, may I love you without ceasing and make it my delight to do in all things your most holy will. Our Lord Jesus Christ humbled himself and became obedient to death, even to the death, even to the death on the cross. Holy Mary, you watched your son dying on the cross. Your heart was breaking because of his sufferings and because you were not able to help him. He gave us to you as your children. Help us and watch over us. Take care of us and bring us to Jesus when we die. Jesus died on the cross for the love of the world, for you and me. The thirteenth station of the cross. Jesus is laid in the arms of his sorrowing mother. O oh, mother of sorrows, you suffered great agony when you received the dead body of your son into your arms and when you remembered all that happened during your happy life together with him in Bethlehem and Nazareth. O oh, mother, obtain for me a great love for Jesus and a great sorrow and hatred of sin so that I may never again offend him. 
my God, I love you with my whole heart and above all things. And I'm heartily sorry that I have offended you. May I never offend you again. Oh, may I love you without ceasing and make it my delight to do in all things your most holy will. Our Lord Jesus Christ humbled himself and became obedient to death, even to the death, even to the death on the cross. The 14th station of the cross. Jesus is placed in the tomb. My Jesus, three days after your weeping mother and friends placed you in your tomb, you rose again and gave back to them a joy that never left them. Help me not to be afraid of death. Help me to remember the life of happiness you desire me to enjoy after death. Strengthen my faith and the faith of all my friends, my family, my neighbours, my loved ones, my followers, all those who search for you. And when we have to watch the burials of our dearest friends and comfort us in our sorrows, my God, I love you with my whole heart and above all things, and I'm heartily sorry that I have offended you. May I never offend you again. Oh, may I love you without ceasing and make it my delight to do in all things your most holy will. The concluding rite. The Lord bless us and keep us from all evil and bring us <coughs> sorry, to everlasting life. Amen. And if we were in church, we would say, go in the peace of Christ to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Have mercy on all sinners, I beg of you. Turn their vices into virtues. Make them true followers of your law. Bring them to happiness in everlasting glory. Have mercy also on the souls in purgatory, I beg of you, because of your bitter passion and for your glorious name's sake. O Jesus, O blessed Trinity, one eternal God, have mercy on us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Our Lord Jesus Christ humbled himself and became obedient to death even to the death, even to the death on a cross.
prayer for the souls in purgatory. The souls of the faithful departed are your temples. Gracious Spirit, you watch over them. Love them and help them in their pain. Spirit of consolation, let them know the comfort of your care and the tenderness of your love. And we pray for the dying, those who are dying right now, anywhere in the world. Holy Spirit, be present to all who are dying. Sustain them with your power. Console them with your love, even in their sufferings, especially those in war. Fill them with your joy. When their eyes close to the things of this world, grant that they may open them again to gaze on you, O unfailing light. Grant that they may rest in the eternal possession of you. Prayer to the Holy Spirit by Desiree Joseph Cardinal Mercier I am going to reveal to you the secret of sanctity and happiness every day for five minutes. Control your imagination and close your eyes to all the noises of the world in order to enter into yourself. Then in the sanctuary of your baptised soul which is the temple of the Holy Spirit. Speak to that divine spirit, saying to him, O Holy Spirit, beloved of my soul, I adore you. Enlighten me, guide me, strengthen me, console me. Tell me what I should do. Direct me. I promise to submit myself to all that you ask of me and I accept all that you permit to happen to me. Let me only know your will. If you do this, your life will flow along happily, serenely and full of consolation. Even in the midst of trials, grace will be proportioned to the trial giving you the strength to carry it even until you arrive at the gates of paradise laden with merit. This submission to the Holy Spirit is the secret of sanctity. Amen. Invocations to the Holy Spirit Spirit of faith Help us to overcome the difficulties and trials of life. Spirit of truth, give us delight in every word that comes from the mouth of God. Spirit of light, illumine the darkness. Spirit of fidelity, make us faithful witnesses of your love. Spirit of piety, pray in us with a longing that cannot be expressed in words. Spirit of life, live in us with your life of grace and love. Spirit of newness, reawaken in us daily a new heart and a new spirit. Spirit of fruitfulness, produce in us living waters flowing out to all who thirst. Spirit of adoption, renew in us the awareness that we are all children of God. Spirit of holiness, fashion and protect in us the image of the Son, so that we may become as the Father has predestined us. Spirit of power, conquer through strength and mildness every obstacle to grace both within and without. Spirit of glory, draw everyone together that we may be one with you, with the Father and the Son, united forever 
in the kingdom of eternal love. Thank you so much for listening. May God bless you and heal you. I'm sending you his peace in abundance. And may you always be happy and joyful in the Lord. God bless you. Thank you for listening. I hope you have a wonderful, holy, happy weekend. And another, we're into the third week then. Third week of Lent. I hope all's going well with you. God bless.